During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about lime. What is it and why do farmers need it? We're talking about calcium carbonate. Yes, it's not a fruit. Uh, we're talking about basically a soil amendment. Yeah, but this is calcium. something you can eat too, Darren. This is uh, like Tums. What is Tums? It's an antacid. Why do we put lime or calcium carbonate on the soil? It's an antacid. All right, so there, there are a couple of reasons why we would use lime in fields. For the most part, farmers that are using lime are looking at a low soil pH, so they've got an acid soil. That's a tough environment for crops to grow in, especially when you have crops like alfalfa that we're going to talk about later in the show. When we've got a pH of 5, which is a really low pH, versus a neutral pH of 7, a 5 is 100 times more acidic than a 7. So you can see why raising that low soil pH is so important to farmers. All right, let's talk about exactly what happens and why the pH raises. All right, the only reason why we have the acid soil is we have excess hydrogen. Well, when you throw calcium carbonate out there, that's CaCO3. With calcium, that's going to come free, and so that's a good thing for our soil. We have the calcium. Then you have that carbonate portion, and what's happening there is you're going to have carbon dioxide that goes up into the air, and you're going to create water. So there's three things. When you put that lime on the soil, you end up with calcium, water, and carbon dioxide, all good things. It's actually a super good thing for the soil, super good thing for the environment. You just have to kind of understand it. We're trying to get rid of the excess hydrogen, and we do that with calcium carbonate. So that's looking at the low pH situations. How about the high pH situations? One nutrient that raises pH a lot more than even calcium can is magnesium. And we've got high magnesium percentages in soils. They tend to be tight and poorly drained. And when we've got a very low calcium percentage in those soils, they can actually benefit greatly from a lime application to build the calcium level and improve natural drainage in those soils. There are two main types of lime. It's calcitic lime, which is high in calcium, low in magnesium, or dolomitic lime that is high in magnesium, but still high in calcium. So it just depends on the situation that that farmer is in. Now, lime is something that can be used anywhere. It could be used in an organic soil. It could be used in a garden. It could be used in a lawn. It can be spread over the top of standing crop if necessary. But the best way to use lime in most situations is to get it out in the fall uh, in a field situation. That way you have time for moisture to move it down through the soil. You don't have to till it in to get it to work. It's a product that can lay there on top of the soil and wait for moisture to move it in. Yes, and it does work more quickly if you have fine particles. So typically on the farm, the best lime for us is the kind that has very fine particles because that breaks down quickly, it changes the pH quickly, it reacts quickly, so I have more calcium available. That's the stuff I'm looking for. So if you hear about farmers in the upper Midwest talking about lime, we're talking about calcium carbonate and trying to improve our soils. Well, another thing you can do if you're going to improve your soil is control our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 